is Richard McEwen. I'm, uh, my highest rank was lieutenant, but I achieved that uh, after I left the active uh, Navy and uh, was spent two years in the reserve. And uh, then uh, when I got back, uh, we did some operations in the North Atlantic. Uh, but then uh, after that, uh, I got orders to report to the Constellation. This was after spending a year and a half on the uh, forest hall to the pre-commissioning detail. And I was looking forward to that because uh, I just gotten married and uh, that would count as sea duty, but it was actually shore duty. Because <laughs> uh, it was uh, being constructed in the uh, Brooklyn Naval Shipyard. Unfortunately, the day I was scheduled to, uh, before I was scheduled to leave, and when the movers were supposed to come to move my wife and goods to uh, New York, uh, why uh, the ship caught fire in the Navy, in the uh, Naval Yard. Or, and uh, anyway, uh, the next thing I knew, there were uh, new orders for me. It said, anybody scheduled to go to the uh, Constellation, their orders are canceled. <laughs> so uh, since they knew I was leaving, uh, they assigned me to a nothing position and gave the uh, A Division officer uh, assignment to uh, somebody else that was going to be there for the next couple months, or next next year or so. So that was a disappointment. Uh, so when they knew I wasn't leaving, uh, the engineering department administrative assistant uh, was leaving. So that's the position I got, and that's what I did for the next year and a half on board the Forestall. But we did take one more uh, Navy, uh, or one more trip to the Mediterranean for six months. This time I was married, and uh, I think the highlight of that trip was that my uh, wife followed the ship over <laughs> and uh, met me, and uh, she was there for about four or five months, and uh, she met me in the different ports that we uh, went to. So along with 24 other wives that were following the forest stall from port to port. Uh, so that, that made it uh, more fun than it would have been, put it that way. But uh, then uh, when my three-year obligation uh, ended, I decided uh, I wanted to uh, leave the Navy and uh, go back to school and uh, take graduate uh, cor courses in uh, civil engineering. So uh, but I got, got an offer, well not a bonus, to, uh, for shore duty at uh, the NROTC unit at Purdue University. Uh, uh, I, I guess by the time that uh, it was offered, why I was all set uh, for going back to graduate school. So uh, I was tempted, but not that much. Well, I have to admit, at that time I was eager to. Uh, I made arrangements to go back to graduate school, and uh, I was eager to do that. But the, I had a summer to kill because I got out of the service in June. And I was able to find a uh, job in uh, Norfolk as an inspector on the, uh, the uh, bridge tunnel project that connects uh, Norfolk with uh, Virginia. And uh, that was a real experience. In fact, I almost uh, considered giving up, uh, uh, giving up going back to graduate school and going to work for that consulting firm because uh, I could have stayed working on that project. That, uh, that's what I did. I did uh, participate in a, a non-pay uh, unit in the Boston area for two years while I was uh, there in Boston. And finally, I actually got a job after I finished my year at uh, MIT where I uh, studied, got a master's degree in civil engineering. And uh, then stayed there for the next five or six years. And, uh, eventually finished my career working for the World Bank uh, for uh, after working for the consulting firm for about 14 years. And there I appraised water supply and sewage projects for World Bank loans basically and then helped supervise the, the implementation. And then retired and eventually uh, 
came here to Vincent Hall. You know, looking back, I would say, uh, you know, I could have made a career of it. Uh, it was, I would say it was uh, a highlight, uh, one of the highlights of my life. And I would certainly uh, do it again if I had the opportunity. I, I still, I also enjoyed my career of, uh, as, a, as a civil engineer too, so I consider myself lucky. I also consider myself lucky to be here at uh, Vincent Hall. Uh, an awful lot of interesting people live here.